everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing amazing this morning and so we'll be taking a look at what is going on across the caribbean region so that's going to be the focus of this video we can see that cluster of thunderstorms in the southwest caribbean just in the vicinity of southern central america but elsewhere there isn't much happening there's that frontal system that are uh, the other system moving over into europe and some activity is in and around Africa. So let's zoom into the Caribbean region. And here we can see a better look at this cluster of activity. And so this is resulting in somewhat of a rainfall increase for parts of Panama, Costa Rica, and even southeastern Nicaragua as well. So there could be some additional substantial rain within some areas as we head through today. Additionally, even though there isn't much in terms of rainfall elsewhere, there is that Saharan dust moving in. So you might notice the haze is definitely on the uh, visible satellite imagery. You can see that sort of brownish hue representing the dust. So the dust is moving into the Southeast Caribbean. And you can let me know in the comments what the coverage or the density is like for your area. As we take a look at the rainfall forecast for today, this is what Euro is expecting. Here we can see that there isn't much color for most areas across the Caribbean and also the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Florida. So there may be some showers moving by parts of Jamaica, sections of Cuba, especially in the east, sections of Hispaniola and Puerto Rico as well. Even for the Lesser Antilles, Anguilla through Trinidad, there may be a few showers passing by. Not guaranteed for every island in between though. ABC Islands will likely be quiet for the most part. Parts of northern South America, such as Colombia, southern Venezuela, may be active, and uh, there could be some shower activity for the Guyanas. Heading towards Central America, that's where we have that cluster of thunderstorms. We can see that it's a bit colorful here as well. So rainfall amounts for today could max out at around an inch or so. And as I said, there could be some additional substantial rain in some areas, parts of Costa Rica. Panama, Nicaragua, and even the eastern section of Honduras. But the further north we go, we see that it's not as colorful, indicating less rainfall activity. Nevertheless, some showers are possible for Belize and even parts of Guatemala. Cayman Islands will likely be on the drier side as we head through today. Let's go on to the wind forecast. And so here we can see all these purple and these blue shadings in parts of the Gulf offshore, uh, the Caribbean will offshore out there in the Atlantic and also in the southeast. Caribbean. So for the ABC Islands, pretty active. Same story for parts of Trinidad at times. We may get those uh, stronger wind gusts. But for much of the Northern Caribbean Islands, it's not going to be as windy uh, throughout today. So maximum winds could be anywhere from around 10, going up to 50 knots. Maybe an occasional gust stronger than that, but nothing very crazy is anticipated. And as I mentioned, there is that Saharan dust moving in. So here we can see it and we can see the forecast as well. Uh, this plume of dust is going to make its way toward the ABC Islands and toward the Western Caribbean as we head into the new week. So as we head into Monday, uh, this plume of dust is going to be in the Western and Central Caribbean and even still some blanket in parts of Northern South America. But by then, the Lesser Antilles will likely be in the clear and uh, the Saharan dust, when it is in those very dense quantities, it can trigger respiratory conditions, allergies. And uh, if you're outside too long, it may actually result in skin and eye irritation as well. Now, I also want to talk about the fact that models have been showing somewhat of a rainfall increase for parts of the northeastern Caribbean as well. So I have been watching the models and this is the precipitation anomaly from the climate forecast system. So this is from the week of April 13th to the 20th. And the green shadings indicate above average rain or more rain than normal. Meanwhile, the yellows indicate below average rain or less rain than normal. So we can see above average rain possible for parts of Central America, Mexico, Belize, uh, Guatemala, parts of Honduras and uh, even parts of South Florida as well. And then as we look toward the Lesser Antilles of the Caribbean, so the southernmost islands likely to remain drier, but as we head further north, you can see that green shade popping up. But then as we head to the week of the 20th to the 27th of April, the climate forecast system is showing that parts of the Northern Caribbean on a whole may experience above average rainfall. And that will also include much of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands for the Leeward Islands, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Hispaniola, potentially Jamaica, 
uh, the Cayman Islands spots in Cuba, and then again, Central America may experience above average rain, a lot more rain for uh, parts of southern Central America and potentially for Colombia and Venezuela, as well as we're seeing. So let's look at what uh, the Euro model is forecasting, though. And the green shading indicates the moisture or uh, the precipitation rate. So as they're going to be heading there, we have the time up there. As they're going to be heading into uh, next Saturday, the 13th, take a look at this. We see all this rainfall activity uh, toward parts of Central America and also in the Northeastern Caribbean, the Leeward Islands, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. And all this moisture really loiters around even as we head toward uh, the 16th of April. So that would definitely be helpful it's been so dry in some of those areas some substantial rainfall is needed without a doubt so uh, hopefully this actually comes to fruition so we still have to remember that hey it is a forecast and it is not 100 percent guaranteed to be the actual outcome at the time but of course i'll keep you posted and eventually the rainy season is going to be kicking in as we head into May, June. And we also know that's when the hurricane season is going to be commencing. So we'll have those tropical waves helping out with the rainfall activity as well. Some of which will develop into tropical cyclones. But that's to talk about in the uh, future when they actually start rolling off. But for now, nothing much is really happening. And again, there could be a few showers around today. Bit of a rainfall increase for the southwestern Caribbean. But that's it for now, guys. I really do hope you found this update to be quite informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.